I got a lot of stuff to unbox. Safe to say, things have really stacked up. Um, this is not all PR. No, no, no. I don't get very much PR as a small little content creator over here. I have a few things, so I will show you guys what I did get in PR if you're curious what a small content creator gets. But most of this um, was stuff that I ordered. <laughs> and I don't usually do like full unboxings over here, but it just seemed like a lot in one week and I was sick when the week that I was like getting everything. So I was like, let me just film it. Why not? Show you guys what I got. I got some fun nail polishes to show you. I finally ordered from Holo Taco. I got some Moon Cat. I got some Orly. I got some EOS lip balm. I got the Beetlejuice lip balm and I want to talk about that. And I got some makeup and I got some PR. So we're going to unbox everything. And uh, if you want to hang out with me, then let's do that. I think that sounds fun. So let's go, boo, boo. Let me do the EOS first. All right. So I was so excited when I saw this cute little EOS lip balm launch from Beetlejuice that I ordered it as soon as I figured out where to, where to get it. It wasn't available at Target or anything. It was only available through the EOS website. If it's still available, I'll link it down in the description box. But I was a little disappointed when I got it. Let me tell you why. Because I opened up the box and it was just thrown in there like that. There was no like card or anything, which is good for like less waste, less whatever. But it was, I just thought it was odd and maybe that's why it didn't end up in stores. But I'm excited nonetheless. It did say when I ordered it, like in my cart, it said, oh, and like secret freebie or secret gift or something. And you wanna know what that gift was? It was a little card insert of that. So like basically because it didn't have packaging, it has that because that has the ingredients on it. Otherwise you wouldn't know what the ingredients are or anything unless you looked it up on the website. So kind of strange, very lazy collaboration, I dare say. Maybe it's a test because it also came out like maybe two weeks before Halloween. So I got this like maybe two days before Halloween, which was a bummer. I was sick anyway, so I couldn't use it or anything, but I would have liked to have it the month of Halloween. You know, I wish it, I wish it launched sooner, but maybe it's a test run. Maybe they'll do it next year. I don't know if you ordered it too, let me know how your experience was because I just thought it was a little bit lazy of an experience, especially because listen, I haven't, this is a rant, sorry. I'm going on a rant here about this lip balm, but I haven't ordered from EOS in like literal years. I haven't used their lip balm because they were not cruelty free up until I wanna say a year ago, maybe they got their Leaping Buddy certification and they're no longer selling in places that require animal testing. So I was excited to like finally try them again. And I got some other things that I'll show you. I was like, what better way to try them again, use them again than this. It's supposed to be banana smell after like the Deo, Deo. So it's called Deo Banana Smooth Lip Balm. It has this little seal, I guess, to know that it hasn't been tampered with. I don't know. And then you open it up and oh, there's a cute little green inside. Packaging wise, 10 out of 10. Let's take a whiff though. A little bit of a light banana scent. Why did I just put lip gloss on before this video? Shoot, I wanna try this, hang on. Man, I haven't put one of these on in so long. Oh, oh it's so nostalgic. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not too artificial smelling and tasting because I hate that artificial banana taste. No, it's nice. It's almost like, you know what it is? It's almost like banana leaf. I enjoy that. Doesn't have that weird candy, fake artificial syrup smell. That's nice. Doesn't feel that moisturizing. Kind of feels a little bit on the dry side. So that's a little strange, but cute packaging and I'll throw it in my purse. Wish it just came earlier, but I am a sucker for making sure I get free shipping and I didn't want to like spend the money on this and then like another $6 for shipping. So I think if you spent 15, you got free shipping from the website. So I ordered some pumpkin lippies. Can I like break this up and give one to my daughter and stuff? I got the pumpkin everything, pumpkin cream brulee. Ooh, that smells like a pumpkin spice latte. That smells amazing. And then, and that packaging is really cute too. This is good for Thanksgiving, so I don't mind this one getting here. Yeah, this one has, almost has a lighter smell. I wonder if this one's more hydrating. Let me put some on my hand, because my hand is dry. It's a little chapped hand right there. Feels nice, has a bit of more of an oil slip to it. This balm is very light, very light. So I have one other one pumpkin and apples. I think I'm giving the apple one to my daughter because if they use actual apples, I am allergic. I don't know if I'm allergic topically, but I, I'm going to give her that one anyways. Oh yeah, there it is. That's nice. Ooh, it smells like a yummy apple. Not too fake either. I appreciate that. I don't like that, like that fake banana smell, that fake fruit smell that just is like ugh. pumpkin latte. Smells more milky. Honestly, if you're wondering between the two, the creme brulee pumpkin and the pumpkin latte, I think I like the creme brulee, the creme brulee breader. It's a little bit sweeter. So if you like a sweet scent, go with the pumpkin creme brulee. What's this? This is 
I want to do makeup. Let me do my makeup. Let's do makeup products first. I also have from Odin's Eye, and this is not PR. I actually purchased this. Came all the way from Sweden, so shipping took a little bit of time, but that's okay. It's coming from another country to me. I am so excited. This is my first Odin's Eye purchase, and it is the holiday collection. Everything is nice and bubble wrapped. Man, I am like a track your shipment junkie, and as soon as like I place my order, I start tracking things. It's really bad. So this was hard coming from another country where shipping like tracking doesn't update for a long time. It was like left the port and then what is it a week and a half until I got any notifications at all. But then I started seeing on Instagram people getting their packaging. So I was like, oh, it must be soon. And then I got it the next day. So these little freebies that came with the palette. I bought both the palettes. I bought both of them. But these are are they little just bag tap bag little bag charms bag charms. That's cute. That's, that's kind of cute. And these are the palettes. I'm so excited. I've been looking at everybody's orders and just wanting them. There's also a little card in here. It says like, happy holidays, blah, blah, blah. So cute. These palettes look incredible. Their formula looks incredible. Everything looks incredible, but no palette has really like got my attention enough to go for it except this collection. Originally, I was just gonna buy this Merry Christmas one, Christmas tree, because the color story is like totally my Christmas spirit vibes. And then I started watching everybody's reviews and I don't usually watch reviews, okay? But I, I needed to know research and development. I needed to know if I needed this because I know these sell out and it's limited edition. So I went ahead and got the winter themed one. What is it? Christmas Eve palette. So this is Merry Christmas palette. This is Christmas Eve. This one's more blue in tone. These look like gorgeous, almost like holiday albums or I don't know, old school Christmas art from the early what, 1920s? I don't know when this art would have been, but they are just absolutely gorgeous. I say almost like a Christmas album because it's wrapped exactly like a CD case would be. Do you remember back in the day, you would go down to Target, Walmart, Sam Goody, what are all the FYEs, like all those places and you would buy the latest album that you were waiting for and you'd get in your car and you'd unpeel it. Oh, that is exactly what is happening right now with this. Oh, it's that same feeling. The only thing that's missing is that annoying sticker that you would have to like try to like get just right. Oh, nostalgia. Open her up. Oh my gosh, that is glorious. Holy moly. Oh, do you see what I see? I have to touch something. I do. This, this, this snowman texture looks shifty oh total duo chrome it's like green and pink oh my gosh Ooh, i gotta worry over to pop that on right there so what i do when i unbox stuff i go oh, let me just put a little bit on that oh that's so beautiful oh my goodness i cannot wait to do some looks with this for you guys oh i'm so excited oh you know what i've been on the fence about getting the new not natasha denona palette because of those sagey greens <sighs> Look, there's a sage green in there and there's other greens and there's pinks. I mean, it's, it's a shimmer, but yeah, should I get that Natasha Nona palette, you guys? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of mad she launched two palettes this year at the end of the year, one right after another. I like her spacing them out. Here is Christmas Eve palette number two, the palette that I was on the fence about until I saw all the looks and all the swatches that people were doing. <gasps> Why was I on the fence about this? Look at how, uh, look at how stunning that is. Look at how glorious. Do you see all these textures in there? That is amazing. Oh my goodness. I think this was a good, a good first Odin's Eye purchase. Okay, so this one is definitely shifting down here. It's like purple and blue. You see that blue and then purple. I need to like just put this all on right now. It's gonna be so hard. I have to wait a couple days to film that. There's actually a sage shade in here too. So see, do I even need that Natasha Denona? I don't think so. I'm like worried that the Natasha, it's called the Retro Glam Palette. I'm worried that it's just gonna be too dusty on me. I don't, I was totally inspired by this eye look. I used a bunch of different things. Oh, I used the ColourPop Just My Luck palette for most of this look and then the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette for the, the the number two, the third round. And I basically created the look that I would have wanted to create with the Natasha Nona Retro Glam. Glam. So let, let that be a warning to you. If you are, considering to buy a new palette, and it's just certain looks that you're trying to get with it, with your collection real quick and see if you can't dupe it out and make a look with something else. But sometimes it's, I know, it's the whole package, it's the, it's the aesthetic and everything. And the Tasha Nona formula is amazing. So, you know, I get it. Let me do all the nail stuff first. So this is from Orly. I wish I knew about this launch sooner, unlike 
Beetlejuice EOS that just launched too late and probably they got a shipping delay or something. But this one came out early, came out in September and I just didn't know about it. Listen, I've been a gel nail, kiss glue on nails for a couple years now. It's just easier. I've been off the polish wagon for a long time, but I'm slowly like starting to build up my collection again. I got introduced to Moon Cat, an indie nail polish brand, and I love the formula. It lasts a long time. It's easy to apply. It dries quick enough that I can I can handle it. Cause that was my biggest thing is I hate waiting for dry time and I hate the chipping to like two days later, you know. The Moon Cat I'm loving and I've always loved Orly. I just wasn't using their polishes as frequently. I use their gel polishes, but now I'm gonna build up some polish collection because I've been changing my nails a lot. Anyways, this is the Kelly Marissa collab. It's the second round I think she did with them, but this is a Halloween theme and it's called Witching Hour. Oh, I wish I had these in time for the Halloween season. I got it like, the week of Halloween. So I did do my nails one time with everything. I was stuck at home. It was before I got sick and I was taking care of my daughter who was sick. These are jelly polishes, not gel, but like it's like a certain look to the nails if you're not familiar with it. So there's three of those. That's not, I don't even care about those to be honest. They, they're fine. They're pretty, but it's these like toppers, these confetti polishes that are stunning. Okay, let me show you this one. I actually have it on my toes right now, but sorry, no free feet content over here. I put this on top of black and it is so cool. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed. And it's orange and silver and glitter. So it like it, I was thinking like I could use this year round depending on my mood and my vibe and Thanksgiving, I could still use orange confetti and still be like on theme because I'm totally a theme person. I love it. And then this one, I could definitely Definitely use any time. I love, 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 love lime green, chartreuse, those intense neons. And this one has, it's like a confetti neon green with purple and black confetti bits and they're all different sizes. And it looks so cool over all bunch of different colors. I did it on top of black and I loved it, but you can seriously do it on top of so many different things, including the little Oasis jelly that she had included in the kit. Oh my goodness, so cute. This is the only one that I don't like and I was bummed, but I was totally worried that this would happen. This one is a glitter confetti topper thingy. So it has little silver glitter flecks in it, which is fine, but there's little bats in it too and little black confetti pieces. I don't love the black confetti pieces and the bats I think are just too small, unfortunately. They're really hard to tell that they're even bats. They're hard to like get out of the bottle and put onto your nails. So I was a little disappointed by this one, but I like the idea of it. I hope that they try something again, just maybe bigger bats, a little bit bigger. I don't know, maybe it's a problem with being able to come off onto the brush, but I love this. This kit wasn't available at the time for individual purchase or else I probably would have just gotten those two. It was only as a set, so I went ahead and got the set. I don't know if it's still available, but again, if it is, I will link it down in the description box. It's so freaking cute. That flew under the radar, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not like big in the polish community, so maybe it didn't, but in my world, I wish I had known about this, but I follow Orly and stuff on Instagram because that's my go-to for gel polishes and everything, and I didn't know about it. So to me, it flew under the radar. You know, I didn't like that. While I was placing that order, I went ahead and got some basics too. I love their black, so I got another liquid vinyl black of that. This one is new. This is So Fly. That's stunning. So I had like these Halloween ideas in my head, but I just, shipping just took longer than I was hoping for. I also got a white point blank, so I just needed some basics with that. The green I got to go along with my Hollow Taco order because I ordered the glow in the dark polish and Orly actually had a glow in the dark polish too that I didn't know about and they were sold out when I was placing my order. They had three different glow in the dark ones, which was cool, like a blue, um, the green, obviously the green one was sold out, but anyways, uh, now they're back in stock, but now I have the hollow taco one. This one's supposed to be really good. I got the hollow taco. What is it called? I don't know. I don't, it's, I think it's limited edition. They're glow in the dark one. So I'm excited to try that. I know this looks good over white. I've seen that and I think it'll look really cool over that orly green. So we'll see about that. I could do like a glow in the dark Christmas thing. Glow in the dark is not just for Halloween. Okay. Orange confetti is not just for Halloween. So I can play around with these all year. And I also decided to try out their super glossy top coat. Where is the names of things on here? 
Why can't I? I was expecting it to just be right on top. Is it inside the box? Is it in the computer? Yeah, super glossy taco. So it's just a super glossy top coat. I'm excited to try that. Never have I ever tried anything from Hollow Taco. And y'all have been telling me since I've been getting into polish, try Hollow Taco. But that's not all that I ordered. I got some other ones, kind of Halloween themed. I ordered the, oh, the orange one. Oh my gourd. But I think she's keeping this year round because they didn't have an orange polish in her collection from what I was reading. So I need a good orange and Thanksgiving's coming up. So I'm gonna try that one. Oh my gourd. Hello We are doing Christmas things, but also Thanksgiving is still like in a week and a half Which is so crazy that it's so soon and then I also off of pure 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 peer pressure. That's hard to say. You guys were telling me I got several comments when I was asking for recommendations People were saying get favorite sister. It is in Incredible. And I was trying to get different formulas from Hello Taco to get a feel for the brand. And the more swatches I looked at at Favorite Sister, y'all convinced me, okay? I was like, you know what? Let's give her a try. This will be perfect for Christmas time. It looks really cute. It's, what is this texture called? I wish there was more information on the packaging because I know this one has a certain name. So it has like different textures of glitter in there, but it also has a base to it. I don't know, the reviews were amazing. Swatches looked amazing. It looks like ruby red slippers from Wizard of Oz, like legit. If there was a nail polish to be made after ruby red slippers this looks like that oh look at that and i love the shade name favorite sister because it's her only sister and i find that hilarious so cute and i got one more it's a topper let me figure out what the exact name of this is oh i see it now i'm sorry i'm an idiot underneath the barcode is the name so that one says favorite sister this one is solar unicorn skin the only thing i didn't get why didn't i give it a holographic nail polish I don't know. I meant to. I meant to get a hollow nail polish and apparently I didn't. So I picked up the Solar Unicorn Topper. I do have something similar to this from Orly, but oh, this is this is going to be way better. I don't love the Orly one. It's too chunky and it's like hard to get the... It's too thick. The polish of it is too thick. The pieces are too hard to get onto the nail. Basically the same problem I had with the bats from Orly. This consistency I can already tell is gonna be beautiful. It's a little bit thinner. The flakes are smaller and I can see like the multi-chrome effect in this polish. That looks stunning. Oh, I'm so excited. This is what I mean. I have too many nail things. Oh, for my nails and let me show you what I got from Mooncat. This was sent to me in PR because I was about to place an order and they so sweetly had emailed me asking if I wanted anything else after trying out the Hocus Pocus collection. So I love that. Thank you so much to Mooncat. This is what I ordered. The white shade which is called White Rabbit and their black was just restocked and it's called Emo for Life. Love that. I also picked out the Ridge Filling Base Coat so I'm so excited to try that because since I use fake nails so often obviously when I go to wear regular polish I do have some ridges from all the filing so I'm really excited to try that out along with the matte top coat called matte made in hell and the glossy top coat their speed demon top coat so though that is supposed to be really a really good top coat I'm super excited for that and then I picked a fun shade out this one is called fake hollow and it is so stunning that's why I wanted to get a shot of this like this here with this lighting because you can really see it shifting look at how freaking stunning this is so I plan on doing like a little Halloween not Halloween Halloween's over <laughs> I can't accept it I plan on doing a little Thanksgiving set with like the oh my gourd shade and this one maybe make the uh use the matte top coat on the oh my gourd shade and I'm just so excited for this so I am so excited to try out some more stuff from them. I really needed a good base coat and top coat, so I can't wait to let you guys know how this all goes. I will update you in a future video. Okay, now let's get into some PR, starting with Alter Ego. It's been a while since we've seen anything from Alter Ego, but they have just launched the Harmony palette a couple weeks ago, so they asked if I wanted to try this out, and I said, yes, please. This is supposed to be duping the Natasha Denona. Is it called just Glam palette? Now I'm so confused. No, it's called Retro. Glam is the silver one. Now, I do not have the Natasha Denona Retro palette, so I'm not familiar with that one necessarily, but I will still try this one out and see if it's any good. These retail for around like 16 bucks, which is way different than that 65, maybe $69 price point that she has now for those midi size palettes. Now, I know she has some odd formulas in that collection, and this one does feel pretty odd too. It's almost a cream, but not. It's not a cream to powder. It's just kind of strange. 
because I was watching these the other day and I was like, yeah, that is weird. And then I was watching Jen Phelps. If you want like a comparison review video, check out Jen Phelps. She has an exact comparison side by side of Harmony from Alter Ego versus Natasha Denona. And she was talking about like, if you don't like this formula in this one, it's not this. It's that's just how it is. That's how the Natasha one is too. So you won't like that, which was good to know because I probably would have been like, oh, I got sadly from Kiss PR. Not sadly. I'm excited that I get Kiss PR, but sadly like the day before Halloween. And again, I was sick, but when I opened it, I was like, oh, it's not that Halloween theme anyways. There's a couple pieces, but I was honestly thinking it was going to be all the nails, which would be great because I'm a hoarder of the Kiss nails and I, I use them all year round, but they have other nails, so it'll be easier for me to use them throughout the year. They have some impress ones that are so cute. Those will be fun in the spring, a little neon and silver. Guys, I cannot tell you how enough, how much I love these Kiss nails. I've had these ones on, okay? Look at these. They're so pretty. And I figured these can kind of go Halloween and Thanksgiving because I actually put them on after Halloween. When did, what day did I put these on? On. Today that I'm filming this is Wednesday. I put it on last Friday before I went to bed and that's the trick that I found like I put them on before I go to bed So that way the glue can like cure overnight and make sure because if I go and get them wet Later on in the day, then they start popping off, but I've had them on since Friday. It is Wednesday They have not even lifted a smidge bit. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Did I put it on Thursday? Has it been a week? What day was Halloween? Monday? I think I did it last Wednesday. I think these are on a week. Oh, they're so good. So there's a bunch of those in here. There's also some more glue. They had just limited edition Halloween packaging, but it's the same product inside. So thank you so much, Kiss, for that. From Pixie over here, let's see what this is. So this is a collagen collection they just came out with. There's a tonic toner. Ooh, I like this. I'll probably use this. It's a little sheet mask. Oh, and there's three sheet masks in there. That's nice. There is an eye serum and a lip gloss. Ooh, let's put on the lip gloss. Why not? Botanical collagen lip gloss volumizing lip balm is it a gloss or a bomb what are you putting right over that that beetlejuice one mm, that's pretty juicy for a lip balm huh that is a bomb gloss okay i understand them calling it both i can see why they couldn't make up their mind because that both feels like a gloss it's glossy like a gloss but it feels moisturizing like a lip balm Okay, there's that last thing from Pop Beauty, which I've never gotten PR from them before. This kind of just showed up, but they are uh, related to Pixie. I think Pixie owns Pop Beauty is what I found out when I did my Pixie Beauty deep, deep dive. I know you can get Pop Beauty at CVS. Oh, popped the beauty. Oh no. Oh, it's all broken. Oh, that's so sad. I couldn't get it out. I was struggling. Oh, well, I'll show a picture on the screen. Oh, I'm so sad now. Oh, I have to try to repress everything. It's so cute. I love what they did with that little marble zebra stripe. And then there's looks like some pressed glitters in there. Dang it. Oh, that's so frustrating. I'm sorry. They also included the Prismic Pop palette, which is a little highlighter palette. So I'll give that a try. This is a makeup magnet mist. You know what? I'm feeling like I need a little something, something on my face. So let me spray my face. Why not? Deep, deep puffing, energizing, soothing. I like all those things. It has a invigorating smell to it. Interesting. Do I like the sprayer? It was kind of like dripping down my hand. Let me try it. Was that a fluke? It was very wet. Very wet indeed, but it felt nice. They also included permanent pout, which just says it's a kiss proof velvet lip paint. Let's see what that shade looks like. Kind of like a coral nude, really pretty. I think that would actually look really good with what I'm wearing now, but I already got a bunch of stuff on my lips. And look at a nail polish. It's like they knew. It's like they knew I'm becoming obsessed. This is called Nail Glam. It's in the shade Pom Pom, and that is really cute. That's a cute little shade right there, isn't it? I think that is it. I think that's all I see. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and unboxing some stuff. Like it's so much funner, so much more fun to do this uh, with you guys than just by myself where I'm just yelling at myself. Oh, I'm so excited. La, 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 la. Do, 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 do. Or ranting about iOS lip balms. Uh, where else can I do that but here with you guys? So subscribe if you happen to be new. That way you don't miss out on future beauty videos. And if you already subscribed, make sure your bell notification is tapped and your notifications are tapped on. YouTube is notorious 
notoriously terrible at actually telling you guys when I post new long form videos. I feel like they've been telling you guys about my shorts, but I'm not only posting shorts, I'm posting a lot of long form videos too. So go check out my channel if you've been missing it because I'm over here. I am sitting in my room like a weirdo yelling at my camera about how much I love makeup. That's me over here. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I think this is what I'm most excited for. I can't wait to play. So look forward to that video and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.